I think I became an artist because I found myself at 28 without any skills and without it able to do anything. And so, you know, grabbing a paintbrush and swiping it across a canvas just seemed like a possible thing to do. But I mean, you know, my wife looked at my first painting and said, you're a painter. And I said, yes. And um, that began 20 years of abject poverty for the two of us. I mean, I didn't sell a painting for 25 years. You know, I mean, that was my apprenticeship. For two and a half years before that, I was a potter. I was taken to a pot shop by a Canadian painter and the potter looked at me and said, I need an apprentice. And I said to him, well, what's the deal? And he said, well, you'd work here six days a week, eight hours a day, you wouldn't get paid a penny. And after a year, I'd let you make your first pot. And I said to him, I'm your man. I read a lot and I drew in books and I've still got some of those books. So I've got an illustrated Winnie the Pooh, which is startling. Um, I wasn't creative at school. No, at school I was good at English and good at geography and social studies. I wasn't any good at drawing. I got very low marks at King's Prep for drawing, yeah. Well, willpower's interesting. You can do a lot with your willpower. If you haven't harnessed your willpower, you're not going to be a very significant artist. Um, willpower is important. Yes, you can force ideas. You can have uh, a time of the day, like you can rise at five or six and sit in an empty room for an hour and contemplate and, and ideas will come. Um, I travel with notebooks. I write, write ideas down. Um, Ideas are to be taken, you know, quite uh, seriously. And um, you, can't, you can't have a work of art without a concept. You need a concept. Uh, I don't believe the stealing, what there is is transmission. I think other artists give you permission in their work to use their devices and ideas and techniques and their vision. And I think art is an accretion of very, very small forward movements in the history of consciousness. But artists don't actually make original work. They build on to the shoulders of giants and they add a little bit of new coat culture. So I think uh, Sigmund Polka got his uh, dots from Salvador Dali and I got my dots from Sigmund Polka. When the muse doesn't arrive, you can do nothing but wait. You have to be patient. You can wait by going to the gym. You can wait by helping other people. You can wait by teaching. You can wait by writing instead of painting. I mean, I write a fair bit. I write poetry. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a bugger when the muse doesn't come. The muse tends to come more regularly the older you get. The more you experience your art, the more you're um, rewarded in the culture, the more you're held up as somebody who is really an artist, the more you're honored, the more often the muse comes. Interesting, interesting.